Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. We're looking at price action for Friday, August 2nd on the SPX. And if you saw the markets uh, opened weak and then it went weaker. But uh, if you look at it from the open over here, yes, there is some little bit of persistent activity over here, but it's too close to the open. And so you probably don't want to get into the trade. The first trade that looks actually pretty decent uh, is right here. However, it doesn't last very long because uh, as you can see, uh, you know, you probably could have made a uh, you know, couple of points over there. So really didn't uh, you would have been stopped out or you would have come out right there uh, once the uh, custom RSI and the green dots uh, uh, you know, started turning around. Uh, the really good trade comes obviously in the middle of the day over here. And uh, this was a nice trade. So if you waited for the dots which were persistent and then you looked at the custom RSI going into the bearish. So that would be around this bar which is a level of about 29, 25, 29, 26, something like that. And then you would write this, you can see custom RSI and you won't get shaken out by this one green dot. So you would write this all the way and you won't get shaken out by one dot here either. But once you see the custom RSI trying to come out, uh, you would want to get out. So that is at around this level over here, 29, 19. So that's a six point move, which is about a 12 to $1,400 profit. After that, there's no trade because we are in a negative day and it doesn't look very negative, but if you uh, just uh, you know put it in the right perspective, we started out weak and then it never really made its way back up there. So any of these bullish trades don't count because you don't want, like the, there seems to be some persistence in this move right here. So, you know, if you wanted to go against the grain and take a small trade here, you know, keep it very low, keep it, uh, you know, you would, you would get in somewhere here. And, you know, if you normally put uh, uh, four to five contracts, then just put one to two. And, you know, if you want to scalp it a little bit for two or three dots and then come out with the profit, don't even wait for the thing to turn because, you know, you're going against the grain. If you've, if you've generated a profit, you can just take it. But, you know, bear in mind, this is a B trade. It's not an A trade. A trade, you want to align it with the market sentiment for the day. So in general, that would mean that you take put trades only. However, even during such a day, you might get some small opportunities where uh, you could do something on the call side, uh, but you have to just keep it very tight and you have to keep it small so that uh, because things can turn. And, and as we know, and, and, and you can see the ticks are the ticks have been persistently negative all through the day. So really taking a call trade at best is a B trade. Uh, and, and it's best to actually stay out of it and just wait for the nice put trades to come along. And that's uh, how you would use the SPX algo and the custom RSI for Friday's price action, August 2nd. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thanks. The SPX ticks as well as the custom RSI are uh, custom indicators and algos. If you have any questions, you can go to this bit.ly link, uh, bit.ly slash SPX algo, and you can find more information on how to get these indicators. Thank you.